Rocket fans. Woo Woo well, we received a sneak peek at first look shots of Wicked starring Cynthia Erivo as Alphaba and Ariana Grande as Glinda. The movie is split into two parts and will drop part one in November 2024. The first part shows Cynthia Erivo as our future Wicked Witch of the West, Alphaba. The second part is of Ariana Grande in a stunning pink puffy dress that I would totally wear as Glinda the Good Witch with a beautiful crown. The filming is not yet complete, so fans can hopefully expect more teasers from the set soon. In the meantime, however, people have many thoughts on the first glimpse. Some have pointed out that the shots are very dark. However, according to the movie director John Chu, fans do not have to worry about the brightness of the picture and the color theme as color is in his DNA and there's yeah. plenty of time to show more. Wicked the movie, what are we all talking about? Ah, this is a dangerous... This, this is a... Oh my God. I'm so excited! I'm gonna go green. Okay, sorry, sorry. We have that okay. picture of you that from when you would dig green on the green screen. Oh my god! You have totally got to use that. I totally be honest. This about. is cruelty to homosexuals. It really is. Because when Ariana Grande comes out on stage in that pink dress, there is going to be a gay gasp that will cause the theater to collapse inward and probably kill us all. Completely. <laughs> and everybody's pearls will fall to the floor because we're grabbing them so tightly, and then we're also gagging at the same time. So it's just going to be a lot going on when this comes. Out. And how do you get the nerve to be splitting this up into two movies that are spread uh, out months apart? What am I supposed to do in the middle? Uh, yeah. Go I, watch it. Go see Wicked. Go, yes. Oh, I, did, I just saw it. It was at Me too. At the I Kravis saw it too. Center. I saw, oh my God. I saw it too. I saw it in um, at um, our center. Um, I just love Wicked. And I am a huge, huge fan of Adina Menzel, like from Rent Days. She, you know, so. Phenomenal. Her and Kristen Chenoweth. Chen 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 yes. I always say her name wrong. Those are just like the epitome of what these two characters are for this wicked geek, right? So when they first announced Ariana, I was kind of like, oh no, I don't know. But now, that, you, but now that you've seen the production, but you I, see her yes, in it, right? Yes, and I could see it. Yes. I could totally see it. And I the heard like a small range. little clip and that range was like... Oh, it, I mean, the, sh the show was... It, it was so good. I think it really speaks to LGBTQ plus as yeah. well. Yeah. Because, you know, we're walking around and getting just demonized all the time. All these laws passed against us. Everybody, you know, thinking that we're some amoral or immoral group of Abomination. people. Abomination. We've been called mutants. When mm -hmm. really, just like in Wicked, if you sit down and actually talk to that person and hear their story all the way out... Everybody has a beautiful story and an explanation uh, for why they feel the way that they do in the world. And we so, should all defy gravity. Absolutely. And if oh, you haven't seen the wicked, there's something wrong with you. You should get that for the set. Like little, we can get strung up and then, and then, then just, just fly like float, across. float above the bed. Defy. What kind of budget do you think we have, Mark? I don't know, enough for rope shit. <laughs> Listen, we'll be talking more about Wicked okay. for sure, okay? Any sneak peeks that arise, we'll bring them to you for sure, all right? And we did good. We didn't give any spoilers. You know the ending. Anybody. Everybody dies. I didn't. It was my first time seeing the show. I had, I didn't tell anybody that before I well, went. Well, you I'm can't. Like, I was like, they're going to take away my gay car before yes. I even get to the theater. But now I've seen it, so hmm. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Watch it. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.